Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to change the valve cover gaskets on this 2001 Toyota Camry. So this is the V6, and so it's kind of difficult on the back side. Uh, you have a valve cover gasket that's under the intake manifold. You know your gaskets are bad if it looks like this. You can see the seam where the valve cover gasket meets is all oily, and it looks the same on the back. However, it's actually starting to smoke as it leaks onto the exhaust, so this definitely needs to be changed. So we're going to start off by taking a 10 millimeter socket and we're going to remove the negative battery terminal. So we're just loosening it up here and then we're going to go ahead and just lift this off of the post and set it out of the way. Next, we're going to take a 10 millimeter deep socket and there's a little rail that comes through here with a bracket. So we're going to go ahead and just remove the 10 millimeter nut right here. And then there's one on the other side as well. So after removing these two, then what we're going to do is just take this whole harness piece and we're going to basically just flip it towards the front of the car. So just remove it from the studs that it's sitting on and it can flip over. Now we're going to go after our intake manifold bolts and there's lower ones and upper ones. We want the upper ones. And so it's basically two nuts on the end and then there's two of these Allens that are in the middle. And so this is called the intake manifold here and that's the piece that we need to remove. So as you can see, we're taking a 14 millimeter socket here to get this one on the end. There's one on each side and it's a nut. And then the two in the middle take an eight millimeter Allen. So make sure you go get the tool for this. We don't want to strip them out. So it's just a big Allen. And so we're going to go ahead and put those into the two bolts that are in the middle and just remove them. Next, we're going to take a 14 millimeter socket and we're coming over here onto the back side. You're going to see there's a black bracket that comes up um, from the bottom. It looks like it has an air conditioning line that's attached to it. And so on the back, right around here, you'll see this bracket as it comes down. Uh, you'll find that 14 millimeter bolt and we're going to go ahead and remove that. I already broke it loose. And then this bracket can come off of the back of the intake manifold. Okay, so this is what it looks like as it's pulled off. It's just a bolt here, and you can take it out from there. And uh, I usually thread it back into where it came from so I don't have to keep track of it. Uh, there's a little vacuum hose here that we're going to pop off, and that way we won't have to remove too much. And then there's two grounds here, so we're going to take a 12 millimeter socket right here, and we're going to just take this nut off, and we're going to remove the two grounds out of the way and just put the nut back on. Okay, next we're gonna go after our EGR here. So we're just gonna unplug this and then uh, pull off the vacuum tube that's on the back here as well. And now on our EGR tube here, there's uh, actually five bolts. There's two here, there's one on the front and then two more in the back. So we're just taking these off with a 10 millimeter uh, socket. So there's the three up front here and then around the back side, uh, it's hard to see but you'll be able to feel them as you follow the EGR tube up. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take our 10 millimeter socket, uh, deep socket here, and come around the back and just remove those two from the back. Uh, now there's also a plug for it too that you'll see here. So just push down and uh, remove that. There is also a little tiny vacuum hose here. We're going to pop off of the top of the EGR. And now we can remove this whole EGR piece and snake it out of here and it can the whole thing comes out and it's a lot easier to get the throttle body off next which is what we're going to do okay now we're going to take off this tube here this is just a vacuum hose we take some pliers to remove the hose clip and we're just going to pull this straight back off and this follows up to this whole center section that we're going to remove and so we're going to start up here by the throttle body with a 10 millimeter socket and so we're going to just loosen this uh, quite a bit and then we're able just to pull this tube off and this one is on pretty firm it's pretty tight so it's going to take a little bit of force even with this thing loose uh, it took some wiggling in fact i was even taking a screwdriver to somewhat pry in here be gentle and be careful that you do not tear the boot up but uh, you can kind of get in here and pry it away and so we're going to go ahead and do that to get this intake tube off so i just went back and forth and pried it and then eventually i was able to pull it off Okay, we're going to remove down here as well on the other end so this whole center section can be removed. So same thing, 10 millimeter socket, 
pulled it apart, and now this whole piece comes off. Okay, now we're taking a 12 millimeter deep socket, and we're gonna take off our throttle body bolts. There's two bolts on the top, and there's two nuts on the bottom. The nut on the left has the bracket for um, that connector that we already removed. Okay, and so now this whole thing slides off. Be careful, there's a gasket down in there that you don't wanna lose. And uh, now we're just gonna set the throttle body here out of the way. We're not gonna disconnect anything else for it. Okay, we're gonna remove this tube here. So we're just taking our pliers and uh, sliding this hose clamp back and then popping it off. Now there's two more small hoses here that's coming to the intake manifold and they just go into the two little outlets there. So just pop both of those off and uh, one's going to the fuel rail and the other's going down into the engine bay and so that's the second one. So just kind of keep those ones separated. If you want to mark one with tape, then you can. But now the intake manifold, as you can see, we're able to just kind of pull up here and separate it from the throttle body and uh, get the whole thing out. There is one more ground on the back here. And so we're going to go ahead and remove that. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. We're using a 10 millimeter socket for this. And it's easier to get to this with the intake manifold loose and kind of away from the firewall of the car. Okay, now we're able to snake the rest of this thing out and our intake manifold is out of the way, which will give us plenty of room for working on the back part of the engine also here. The okay, there was a, a breather vent tube here as well that came off of here on the back of the uh, intake manifold. Okay, next we're gonna remove our ignition leads for the spark plugs. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these off. They just pull straight up and out. And then you can uh, pick up the whole harness and just kinda lay it over towards you. Okay, now we have this uh, bracket here. There's probably nuts on here. It looks like somebody's been in here before. We're just lifting straight up to loosen this up a little bit for us. Now we're taking a 10 millimeter socket and we're gonna come back here and take off all of the bolts that go around the valve cover. Uh, there are also little uh, pins here that go on these studs that are for our fuel injector clips. So pull up on those and you'll see they're brittle, they kind of break. Make sure none of it gets down into the intake manifold. Now we can slide the cover out and on the driver's side it has the cam gears so you have to really kind of pull on this harness like this to get it right up against that EGR and then slide that cover out. Okay, but you'll get it out. Just watch those two gears on the far driver's side. That's where you don't have clearance. You can see all the buildup that's down in here as well. And now we're gonna take our gaskets and compare them, make sure they look identical to the ones that we're taking out. Uh, there's Okay, so this is what it looks like now. We put our new gasket in and it fits in there pretty well. It should stay in place. And we really wanna clean this mating surface for a good seal. So you'll see some buildup of burned oil and gasket maker and everything. So taking an old credit card and uh, even cleaning it up with a microfiber towel with some uh, brake parts cleaner is a real good way to get this nice and clean. Okay, but you want it to look like this completely clean all the way around with no residue left over that it would leak on. In fact, we use this some RTV and some other things in some certain places. So you want to just make sure that it's perfectly smooth and going to be have a, a nice, good, clean mating surface for that. So we're going to go ahead and take it our cover now and we're going to slide it back in. And this top part makes it kind of difficult again on those cam gears. So just make sure that uh, you kind of go in this way and then swivel it around. Again, we're gonna pull on our EGR tube here, or sorry, we're gonna pull on the harness up against the EGR tube here. Um, and that's how we're kind of getting this in here without tearing up the gasket. So just make sure that the gasket's in place and go all the way around. And uh, I started to put the bolts back in just to line everything up and uh, You'll notice the gasket's thick enough that it seems like the cover isn't fitting perfectly. But as you go around and work it and run your fingers, uh, you'll get it. So we, we're tightening these down and you're gonna work uh, on the inner ones first and then move to the outer ones. And that spreads the gasket out. So do the four inner ones on each side and then uh, move to doing the outer ones. And uh, then go back because they'll be loose again as you tighten it down, okay? 
Uh, this is a very good time to take a 5 8 inch spark plug wrench and remove the spark plugs since everything's already out. Otherwise, you have to take the intake manifold off to do your spark plug. So I'd recommend doing that. And uh, they'll just pull right out here and uh, thread the new ones in. But uh, that's really not part of this video. But uh, just a, a good tip for you. Because you can imagine trying to change these spark plugs with that intake manifold out of the way. You're going to have to redo the whole thing to do it. So I would highly recommend... Uh, just uh, doing the spark plugs while you're here. Okay, so we're going to bring our harness back through here and just put it over the studs. Now we're going to come back over here and put our uh, ignition leads back on so they just pop down into place. And so push them down onto the spark plugs and you'll push them and feel a nice little click and get those nice and snug. Now we can bring our intake manifold back in. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just uh, line it up on the studs. So remember how it has studs on each end. So I'll put the, them over the studs and then just put the nuts over that to kind of get them snug and uh, put our bolts back in. Don't forget this gasket for the throttle body. And we're going to go ahead and line it up as well and just kind of get it into place. And it slides in on the two studs on the bottom. Okay, we're taking our 10 millimeter uh, socket here and remember on the very back it had that uh, ground so we're gonna go ahead and replace that one uh, make sure that it goes back on and it's easier to put on before the intake manifold's fully in place if you want to do it that way and uh, now we're going to go ahead and take our 14 millimeter socket and we're going to put uh, this bracket back on as you remember so that one uh, goes right back into here now we're going to take our 13 millimeter socket here and put uh, these two grounds. Remember, there's two of them that go on the side here. So I'm going to put that back on. There was the little vent tube down here that went off of the cam cover for the breather. So we're going to go ahead and put that back in. And it has like this little pinch clip that you can uh, pinch it and then put it in place and release it. Okay, there's a little tiny vacuum hose here that goes on the end. Okay, we're going to take our 8 millimeter Allen and our 14 millimeter uh, socket here and we're going to just tighten down the nuts on the very ends just like we took them off and then the two bolts in the middle. So there is a gasket under that intake manifold as you saw, make sure that it was in place. Okay, we're going to come back over here and uh, put our four nuts or the three nuts on the front and then the other two on the back for our EGR tube, put it back into place. Okay, so there's the one there, two in the top, and the two in the back that were hard to uh, see. You're going to just have to do it by feel. Again, just follow that EGR tube up. Okay, now we can put our throttle body back into place here. So remember, for the throttle body, it takes two bolts in the top, and there's studs on the bottom, and we have our bracket that we're going to go ahead and put back into place here for that plug. So uh, put that bracket on first, and then we'll go ahead and tighten everything down. Okay, so we put our bolts back in the top. And again, that was a 13 millimeter that we were using for that. And so two bolts in the top, uh, the two nuts on the bottom, and make sure our plug goes back on. Okay, we're going to slide our tube back onto the back side right after the throttle body and take our pliers and put that hose clamp back into place. Okay, so that's nice and snug there. Okay, we're going to come around here, and remember we have our two. So this longer one that was going down into the engine goes on the far end. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. And then the shorter one coming from the front rail harness that we removed goes onto the front. Okay, now we can take that entire rail, and we're flipping it back over. And so we're just lining it up onto those two studs, as you remember, one on each side. Okay, and taking our 10 millimeter deep socket, and we're just going to tighten both of those down, one on each side. Now towards the top, we're going to put our vacuum hose on again up here. And follow that around, it goes inside the little clamp. We plug our EGR back in. And there's also that little tiny vacuum hose here that goes into the side. So we're just going to go ahead and line that up and put it on. Okay, we're going to loop our hose back into its little holder there. 
And now we came in, we just uh, put our intake back on, and it was really hard to wiggle this on. Um, but you can see we lined it up and put it right on the notch there on the top, put our second piece down into here, and you can see the notch here at the bottom lines up, and just tighten them both down with those 10 millimeter sockets. So go ahead and get those nice and snug. Okay, now we have our little vacuum hose coming through here. So we just lined it up and pushed it back on. Took our pliers and uh, pinched that little hose clamp and just walked it right forward. Now we reconnected our battery and uh, just tightened it back down with our 10 millimeter uh, bolt there. Now for the front one, it's the same process. It's very simple. All you're gonna do is take out these bolts, remove the coil packs out of the way. There's a radiator hose coming through here. Uh, you could probably work around it. Um, but uh, anyway, I'll, I'll make part two of this video at some point, but if you've done the back, I'm sure you could do the front right now. It's uh, very easy and accessible on the front. So stay tuned for the other video. Check the video description. Uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks, guys.